okay, I've got this picture and instead of making it look like this logo on the president's hat, I want it to look something like this to pretend that he's a fan of this podcast. So you want to do that in a way that makes it look like it's supposed to actually be there. Here's another example of a t-shirt that went from this, where you see like the lines, to this, where we've also got the lines uh, working incorrectly. So how do I do that? Okay, so I've got my original layer now, and I'm going to duplicate it just because I like duplicating my layer and having the original as a backup. Select the brush tool. With the brush tool selected, make sure you've got opacity set to 100%, and then also make sure to use a hard round brush. Now go down just below your collar selector here, and you've got this, which is going to be your quick mask mode. Select that. You know it's selected because you can see it went red over here on the layer. With the collar at black, go and paint over the logo that you're removing. Now go back and deselect that quick mask. Go up to select and inverse to switch it. Now we want to go to where our spot healing brush normally is. Directly underneath that is this one called the remove tool. Select that and then paint over it as well. And it should paint that kind of light pink looking color. When you deselect it, it will then remove that. Hit Control D on your keyboard and you can see we've got rid of it. Now we want to put the new layer in. So now first thing I want to do is I'm going to convert it to a large smart object. And then I want to go to Filter, Blur, Gasson Blur, and set the radius to about 3.3 and hit OK, so you've got this nice blurry image now. And we want to save that as a PSD, so go Save, and I'm going to call that Displacement Mask, and hit OK. Now, since I've got my history up here, I can just go and switch it, go back to the one that's selected as a smart object to get rid of the blur. Now I'm going to add my logo, and I'm just going to copy and paste that and move it to where I want it. So you see, this is why you need to do that displacement mask stuff, because as you can see, you can clearly tell that this is just a logo placed on the top of the hat. And I'm gonna hit enter there when I've got it where I want it. Now with that logo still selected, go to filter, distort, and select displace. Just leave everything at the defaults with the repeat edge, da da da, hit okay. And it's going to want you to open that displacement mask file that you previously saved. Hit OK. And you notice what it did there. It instantly kind of tweaked it to look like it blends more with the hat. Around the edge there, you can see it kind of uh, curves with the edge. Now what you want to do is double click on that layer. And it'll pull up your layer styles. And you want this one here under blending options, underlying layer. Hit Alt on your keyboard, I'm not sure what it is on a Mac, and then select kind of the right side of that little triangle there so that that way it splits it. And then kind of pull that a bit to the right and look at the image on the screen. You notice what's happening here as it starts to fade and fade away. So bring it, and this is going to depend on the quality of your image and what you want it to look like. So just kind of try to find it to an area that you're happy with that makes it look like it actually belongs there. Hit OK. Now with mine, I'm going to do one more quick little change here, uh, which you might not need to do depending on how straight yours is. So that first image that I showed you, uh, I didn't do this step, but I'm going to do it on this because the guy's looking straight at the camera. But on this one, the hat's a little tilted to the side. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to go edit and I'm going to do a, a perspective warp. And I'm going to change the perspective just a little bit. Now you can do this before that other step as well, uh, if you want. And I'm just grabbing four corners of the warp tool, making sure I've got the whole thing selected. I hit enter. And now when it switches over to this, I'm just going to turn that back corner in just a pinch to give it a bit more uh, perspective warp. Hit enter to undo it. And let's zoom back out here. And as you can see, it looks pretty close. You can see that the hat's coming through. We got a little bit of 
curve there. Uh, you could play with this a little bit more, but as you can see, this is literally the steps from here with your image. Uh, you just start kind of tweaking it to make it work and look natural.